All right, so I got pulled over 93 miles from where I'm supposed to be meeting or camping to hang out with Willow. And I got pulled over. Okay, there's a bee keeps trying to come in here and uh, we're, we're fighting it out. No, 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 go away. I'm going to have to kill you. Um, because this cop was back about two, two to five miles and he had somebody pulled over already. There was a big 18 wheeler next to me, so I couldn't get over. And he signaled for me to move over and I couldn't. Uh, I, I slowed down trying to get behind the 18 wheeler, but I was already passing him. He pulled me over and said that he heard me accelerate, that I did not try and slow down and get in the left lane at all. And I told him there was an 18 wheeler right next to me. I couldn't get over. Yeah, I saw that, but I heard you accelerate. I said, no, you heard my old vehicle. My vehicle's very old and it's very loud. That's what you heard. I did not accelerate. He said, uh, you didn't slow down. So he came, he, he basically left that person that he was given a ticket to or whatever to, to, to come flying down the road to pull me over. Unfortunately, he came over on my passenger door side. You guys know I have not been putting that window down because, um, you know, the motor is kind of some timey. And when I said, oh, that window doesn't go down, he then opened the passenger door. And when he did so, he asked for my license registration and all that, and I gave it to him. And he saw my old Virginia plate sitting behind the passenger seat on the floor, you know, in the floor, in the footwell. Why do you have another set of Virginia plates here? I said, because I just put the new plates on this vehicle and those belong to the old vehicle I just sold. And I didn't get them to the DMV in Virginia. I didn't get them back to Virginia. Well, you have an Arizona license. Yes, yes, I do. But I'm from Virginia originally. Then he picks up the plates you know, I had them in the bag that the new plates came in and he saw the Oregon plates, which were on Mona because Willow's plates were Oregon plates. Why do you have Oregon plates? Because the person I bought this rig from had it registered in Oregon. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way to see her and I can hand her back her Oregon plates. Then he continues to go through and I had my old Arizona plates in there and I had the old Georgia plate from Pam, who I bought um, Taurus from. And then he started going, oh, you've got plates for every state. Oh, so you're just traveling and, and changing plates? Oh, I've got to run all these plates now. So he's been back there running plates and my license and all this, my registration and everything. And it took that took about, I don't know, 20, almost 30 minutes. Then he comes back to the door and says, there's a VIN number with two plates registered to it. I said, right, this vehicle, the Oregon plate is registered to this vehicle and the current Virginia plate is registered to this vehicle. I do not know why she did not let Oregon know that she sold me the vehicle. I don't know. I'm on my way to return to her now. Would you like me to call her? I can call her on the phone so you can talk to her and ask her that. I assumed that she had already canceled her Oregon plate. So I don't know. I gave him her legal name and said, this is her legal name. So I know who it belonged to. This is the person I got the vehicle from. Then he comes around the front and writes down the VIN number that's on the um, vehicle and says, I don't know why there are two sets of plates in two different states registered to this. I said, well, one is in her name and one is in my name. She hasn't canceled her Oregon plates yet. I do not know why. You would have to ask her that. All I know is it's my vehicle now and it is now registered to me. As you can see, I have my Virginia registration and I have my, I gave you my license. I said, I'm a nomad. I live full time in the rig. She lived full time in the rig. She was out West. She's now over here in Missouri. I'm on the way to see her so she can see what I've done with the rig because I've painted and I've changed some things around. And before I head West, I want to go show it to her. Mm -hmm, okay. What do you do for a living? And so I said, right now I'm a YouTuber. I YouTube my travels while living the nomad life. Mm, okay. So then he goes back to do more investigative work. Then he, before he goes back though, he says to me, well, I might need you to come out to my, uh, come to my car and look at the screen so you can tell me what's going on. He then also was like, you have a couple of aliases. I said, no, I don't have aliases. What I have is a married name. Then I have a second married name from, I have a, sorry, I have a maiden name. Then I have a first marriage name and then I have a second marriage name. So no, I don't have aliases, sir. And he says, and what are those names? 
So I tell him my maiden last name. I tell him my first last name from the marriage. And I told him when I married my second, after divorcing and marrying my second husband, I hyphenated the both married names. So I no longer go by my maiden name until a such time as I can change it back to my maiden name. Uh-huh. Okay. So he goes back again. I'm like, this man is legit trying to get me out of my vehicle because I believe he's trying to arrest me for what he thinks is some kind of illegal activity that I'm doing, which I am not clearly. I think that he thinks that I'm changing tags and going by different names because probably I'm on the run or something. And I do not feel comfortable and I do not want to get out of my vehicle. So if he asks me to get out of my vehicle, then I'm going to have to say that I need to see a supervisor or something because I do not feel comfortable getting out of my vehicle to go back to his vehicle to look at his computer screen to verify what I've already told him verbally. So now I'm getting worried. This is the first time I've ever felt truly unsafe at a traffic stop or, uh, or you know, whatever. So I'm really starting to freak out. Um, and the person I called on the phone before jumping on this video just pissed me off more and I don't want to talk to them. So right now I'm just trying to remain calm and answer all his questions thoroughly and calmly because I'm not trying to get out of my vehicle. I, I, I feel like he's trying to set me up because he believes I'm, I'm doing something suspicious when I'm not. And just as a note to anyone, I guess just don't travel around with any license plate tags that you don't need. So I'll definitely be mailing all of these tags back to whatever state they came from. Um, or I'll be sticking, I'll be putting them in the back for now. The Virginia ones I can mail to, to um, the BF in Virginia and he can return them to the DMV there. The ones I took off of um, Taurus, I can, he can just take them to the Virginia DMV. I'm going to be giving Willow hers back. And then the Georgia one, I will just mail to the Georgia DMV, I guess. And the Arizona one, I'll keep hidden. And then when I get back to Arizona in the winter, fall, winter, then I will um, go ahead and return it to the Arizona DMV, uh, probably in Lake Havasu while I'm there. So I'm just really freaking out right now. I'm sweating up a storm because, of course, there's no AC in my rig. I can't put this other window down. He made me put this one up when he comes over and talks to me because it's too loud. Uh, and I'm sweating because I'm I'm hot and I'm nervous and I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm just freaking the fuck out. Um, <sighs> I don't know how long it's going to take him to come back and decide if he's going to give me a ticket, give me a warning. I don't know what he's going to do. All I know is I've been sitting here for like, I don't know. It feels like an hour. It probably hasn't been an hour. It feels like an hour. <sighs> I should have looked at the clock when he pulled me over. I, I did not. <sighs> I'm really just freaking out. And I'm trying to remain calm. But it's hard to. just want him to give me my ticket and let me go. Like legit, I was an hour, I'm looking at GPS, I'm 93 miles away, <laughs> an hour and 23 minutes. Like, seriously, I can't. And it's just getting hotter and hotter. I'm parked like partially under a bridge, but it's like the back half of me is under the bridge, not the front half where I'm sitting. <laughs> so all I'm getting is sun in my window over here. Meanwhile, I'm like, there's been about 50 vehicles that have not gotten in the left lane this whole time. So I'm like, are you going to chase down all those vehicles now and give them all tickets and harass them? First of all, I didn't give him permission to open the door. When he came to that side, I said, that window does not go down. He opened the door. Me saying that window does not go down does not give you permission to open the door. Unfortunately, my doors were unlocked. He could have come on this side like he was at the other where I, where, where I saw him, 
and couldn't get over. Why not come to this side? I didn't give him permission. I told him, I said, I didn't give you permission to search my vehicle. He said, they're in plain sight. I said, they're in plain sight because you opened my door and I didn't give you permission to open my door. I said, the window doesn't go down. And so he, but he took them at that point, he already had them in his hand. And it's like, what, what can I do? It's his word against mine. What can I do? Like, just give me my ticket and let me go on about my day. Like every, every nerve in my body is hurting right now. Every, the stress of this is causing me physical pain. I can't, um, cause I don't know what's going on. I don't know what he's going to try and do to me. It's very upsetting. I turned the car off because I don't want to sit here wasting gas. He could have me pulled over here for, I don't know how long, how much more longer. So I had to turn the car off and I hadn't not too long ago gotten gas. I'm extremely hot. I'm just going to try and keep this video rolling because just in case something happens to me, it'll be on video. And I'm going to upload this video completely unedited. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm, 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 I know I cursed already at least once, maybe twice, I don't know. But I'm just going to go ahead and upload it as is, unedited. Um, hopefully the video will continue to run. My cell phone will continue to run. Ugh, something bit me. Spider or mosquito or something. I've been battling with this red mark, this bite mark right here on my chest. Okay, he's getting out of his car now and coming over. So we'll see what he says. Yeah, when you close that, it hits the thing. Okay, registration and license back. You can either return these to the state by mailing them back, or you can destroy them. How do I do that? Bend them all to pieces and crush them up. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So. What this does for you, let me give you an idea what this looks like to me on your behalf, right? Okay. You're on a major interstate. Right. Through with two other major interstates. Right. You have plates that have multiple states. Right. Multiple vehicles. And two of them, two of the two plates are registered to this vehicle. Right. I didn't know she hadn't canceled that plate, so I didn't know yeah, that. They're registered to this 88. Right. In two different states. So right. That, that to me looks like suspicious. Right? Okay. So. That being said, I went to your YouTube channel, I checked it out, gave you a view or two, that kind of said, because then I get a lot of stories. Okay. I get so many stories, so I need to verify all the information. Okay. But based on that, I'm going to give you these. Okay. I will destroy them. Or return to the Well, I can return the one to her, because that's what I was doing anyway, but the and others I can destroy. Warning for those plates, not okay. returning the cancel. Now, on that... Our citation, that's a warning. Okay. It says revoked or suspended. Okay, got it. But there's also canceled. Okay. So any of those that have already been, have not been canceled, uh -huh. need to be canceled. Okay. They're in your possession, you have to get, you're only allowed to have one. Right. For one vehicle right. To the state. Right. The state you are registered in. Okay. Right. This is a citation for the Scott's Law violation, right? There is no court appearance required, however, there's court, court communication here. This okay. Is information. And then this portion, you'll need to read through, fill out the appropriate boxes, and then there's a mailing address right down here. Okay. No court appearance required. Okay. On the back side is your copy. Okay. File their copy. There's information that you want to read through and be clear you understand. All right. Mm -hmm. And then what you need to do is also make sure that anytime you see blue lights, red lights, I do in other states, wherever. I always do. Yellow lights. Uh huh. Or in this state as well. Anybody like, for instance, are they with you?